Hey, it's the Mike Rogers Show here with you, Mike Rogers. And today we have part two of our interview with the band from Detroit Rock City. The band's known <laughs> as Jeff. <laughs> Shadow Show, a comprised of guitarist Ava East, bassist Kate Derringer, and drummer Kerrigan Pierce. Shadow oh. Show, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand. Hey. Thank you. I never get sick of that. So, so wait, H Happy New Year. I forgot to tell you Happy New Year. Oh, yeah, oh, Happy thanks. New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Did you guys have a good, good New Year's? Yeah, yeah, we were together, we were together yeah. as always. We are a three-headed dog, <laughs> and we, we cannot separate. If we wanted to, no, I'm kidding. Oh, okay, so I understand that you guys are like family, and you're together. Do you fight? Uh, she gave me a black eye here. once. We, no, I did. Don't say that. <laughs> no, no. We, we're like sisters. Yeah, so yeah. we'll get oh. a little bit. But then five minutes later, we're just having a good time. Yeah, having we don't laugh. fight. We just we don't fight. Sometimes have disagreements, yeah. <laughs> which is normal. <laughs> I think that we're we're a very highly functioning uh, fr as friends and as a band, and we just get along really well and love each other a lot. That's yeah. that's really cool. So I want to ask you guys a question, a philosophical question. No. Oh. So, guys, guys make bands. And basically, their purpose is to pick up girls. That that's it. And but how about girls? Why do girls make bands? Why do girls make bands? Because we yeah. like music. We like music. Yeah, because we want to rock. Yeah, yeah. That's the same. That's the same Lots. answer. I asked this question to Japanese girl bands, and yeah. actually, I only basically only play girl bands on my radio show. <laughs> on, on, only and um I, I i asked these girls like so why did you make a band and they're like we just we just want to make music and have fun and stuff like that but if you ask yeah. a guy you ask a guy they're like oh oh yeah i, I want to pick up girls that's why i don't have a girlfriend it's like it is because they can't think of an answer on the spot <laughs> <laughs> so our this year 2023 what are the big plans for shadow show are you oh, recording well, a record? Are you recording a record? Are you going to tour, or, or what are you going to do? Are you going to come to Japan? Try to come to Japan, or what we, are you going to do? Well, yeah. I would do anything to come to Japan. Yeah. It is bucket list. Yeah, bunch of set us off there, kite. In March, we're doing a two week tour um, around South by Southwest. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute, you're touring, yeah. and you're going to South by Southwest? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! Yes! Yes! Yeah! yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool because now oh, I can tell I, I can tell Rodney you're gonna send me some new songs. I have to re send Rodney new songs. What day is today? I don't even know. Oh, Sunday. In two I'm days. Sorry. In two days, I I have to send Rodney new songs. And then if I tell him, "Hey, Rodney, this band you played two songs of the two of their songs last week." Yeah, well, do I pick them right? They are touring with South by Southwest. And he will be like, whoa. <laughs> so t tell us about the tour with South by Southwest. I thought South by Th Southwest was a film festival. It's a it's they a music do. festival in Austin. So we're just doing and film. Yeah, they and, do and a film festival. But yeah. for us, we're we're playing the uh, the music festival in Austin. So we're doing a little tour like around that. Yeah. On our way down. And back. it's a long way from Detroit. So we need to, you know, make some stops on the way down. Yeah. They have a um, Japan night at South Did by really? South. Yeah, they have a Japan night. Cool. And Japan Japanese bands go there. Okay, cool. So we'll try. try oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's, let's tell us tell us about South by Southwest tour. What what is that? Um. So we're just doing like a tour, basically, so we can get down to Austin to play the South by Southwest music oh, festival. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. I see. You're going to play a bunch of shows and then play South by Southwest. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I see. I see. So um, South by Southwest have some kind of like stages or something like that, you know, like big oh, yeah. it's spread out over a bunch of different bars and venues around town. So there's like official South by Southwest shows. And then there's also like a bunch of unofficial shows where people might throw like house shows. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty much like a hub of like 
a lot of bands from all over the place are coming here for this music festival. Yeah, like, really it's intense. pretty it's a pretty big like festival. Um a lot of like industry people are there and stuff like yeah. that. It's really it, fun. It's famous in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It, it's very famous in Japan. So okay, so you're doing that. And then are you recording a record or anything else? We're we're working on an I mean, we're working on writing songs for yeah. what will go towards our third record but yeah. we're in the works of just figuring kind of... out a release for our second record that we have finished mm-hmm. um and uh we're we're shopping it around now and yeah. trying to find a label it's like we may have singles i'm sure what the future holds for us releasing music um will come become clear once we like kind of lock in that release um but we never stop making music and we love recording too so we were just talking about earlier today um a little like not side project, but a little special release, maybe sooner than anyone thinks. Um, but yeah, you can expect us. We definitely want to be touring a lot when the record comes out mm-hmm. um, everywhere. We'd love to go around the world. It's all pretty up in the air for us right now with the second album because it's complete. Um, we just don't have a release lined up. Okay. So we're trying to get that secured. While yeah. also thinking forward about the third album. Yeah. Now, now I remember what what I had forgotten. So I'm going to send you uh, the names of a few Japanese people who you oh, can send, you. send this record to him and tell them we I don't we don't have a a, a release and we're not going to release it on um, what's it called Spotify and things like that. And we yeah. wanted to know if you you would release us on your label. That yeah. would be pretty sweet. So yeah. I'll say I'll send that to to you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You will love these guys. These are these are the nicest guys. They're they're just really nice. It's things are different here in the, in Japan. Um, yeah. There's basically no crime. There's no trash in the streets. Mm-hmm. Service is awesome, and I I never hear people screaming like outside if I go to the store. You you yeah. never you just don't see that here. It just doesn't happen. So it's really good for me. It's it's good for my mental well being. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so you're gonna so let's let's do that. Let's work together on that. And you don't have to pay me anything. I don't I don't oh. want anything. And I'll introduce you to these people. Tell them that you did Mike Rogers' show, YouTube, and Mike plays you, and Rodney plays you. That will yes. carry a lot of weight with these people. Very cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. We really appreciate the help yeah. from you. Seriously. So, um, so your third record that you're writing songs for now, mm-hmm. what is your kind of like your image, your target for when do you want to release it, record it, or what? Yeah, that we haven't <laughs> thought about yeah. that. We have We're just trying to get this second album out there. Yeah. Um, no, but conceptually, I guess with writing songs, like we've we're just, it's like we just kind of started, and it's uh, I know it's kind of cliche, like New Year, New Us, but I I'm really excited. We've with our last or the second record that's not out yet, but to us is completed. Um, it's like we grew so much, and we really have pushed ourselves beyond any kind of um beyond any kind of box we feel like we could keep ourselves in and we were just ever expanding it seems like with the musical influences um you know just stuff we want to play live and uh musical elements or Mm -hmm. visual elements that we want to incorporate into our set or recordings so it's honestly as stressful as it is getting the business end of things uh wrapped up it's it's so exciting because the future we have so many like possibilities regarding mm-hmm. like creating stuff and it there's always a lot to say with our second record we have a lot to say and that's not, not going to stop so so yeah i can't give yeah. you a definite answer but it hasn't come together too much yet but we will be continuing to write it while everything yeah. comes together for the second one and then yeah. hopefully by the time the second one comes we out we have it. the third one right also yeah. i will say with the second album when we started uh writing it Basically, we were supposed to do that South by Southwest tour mm-hmm. oh. um, with a European tour. March two 2020. Years ago. Yeah, 2020. Like two years ago. Um, Three when, years ago. When, when we released um, our first album. So when we released the first album, 
we're supposed to do the South by Southwest tour and do a European tour. And it all got canceled because of COVID-19 hit right after we released our album. Yeah. So it kind of really, we got the rug pulled out from under us on that yeah. release because we weren't able to tour our, our album that we just put out. So yeah. we went home like middle of our tour because of COVID. Yeah. We came back and we were in California. We just immediately started writing this second album. So it's kind of a direct product of like all of the mayhem that we were experiencing over the last two years, mm -hmm. um, dealing with a, a global pandemic and like, yeah, kind of having our release being sort of, yeah. Kind of wow, that's really cool. Um, so I I need to ask you one question. This is this is always a standard question that they do in Japan. Do you have any last words for your Japanese audience? We hope to see you very soon. <laughs> <laughs> we will be there very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my last words is, I don't know. I don't really have a last, last word. I don't want a last word. Yeah, we I want a first word. We haven't had our first word yeah. yet. So. We'll have dinner first and then we can talk. <laughs> so... So anyways, when before you come to Japan, you got to think about that because they definitely will ask you that. And your answer was the same answer when they asked me that a long time ago. And I was like, what? Uh, uh, I don't know. So um, anyways, thanks so much for the interview today. Thank Wait, you. I, I know what our last words would be. Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Shad okay, it is. Okay. Sh Shadows never leave. Shadows never leave. Think yeah. about it. <laughs> uh, well, let's let's what meditate some, on that. <laughs> wise words of wisdom. Wise words yeah. of wisdom from a ten-year-old boy in Spain. <laughs> ah. um, yeah. yeah, he he wrote us a little um, message and said that shadows never leave. Yeah. Wow. I, I, know, right? I don't even I don't even know how to translate that into Japanese. <laughs> so but that's a good one because if you say that to some interviewer they'll they'll just have like a big question mark over their head yes. <laughs> and think like what yeah. so i think um 2023 is really going to be a good year for this band I, I rather rather, so. rather and um i'm i'm supporting you all the time oh there is one more thing i wanted to ask so let's do it now okay. you guys put out your record in february 2020 and then yeah. COVID hit yep that's really bad timing i it mean was it, not, bad. Not, it happened in the middle of our tour yeah. on the, like we had just gotten to california and within 24 hours all of the rest of our tour yeah. dates got canceled and we had to turn around and go home hey at least we got the records though yeah <laughs> that's all I'm, saying. I'm glad it was out there because yeah. a lot of people's releases didn't happen at all really so yeah, like a lot you of know, people if they were supposed to come know. out in March, like the end of March. Nope. No. So we <laughs> got they always out. Got delayed. Yeah. Thank God. That's oh God, you know, for me that just you know, I, I used to play in a band a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> and this sort of thing happening kind of makes me think like, gee, if that happened to us, that would have killed us. I mean, we we died after a year anyway. But um, it died inside, and yeah, then we but, took our pain and turned it into our next album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was like a yeah. We just kind of focused on the next yeah. album, so like it's kind a of a good thing. It was the only thing we could do from slipping into very deep despair. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. 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 was to write. Damn. <laughs> it's true. It was like wow, what's we can what are we either do yeah. yeah it's like that was the only thing we could do was write new songs yeah we can sit down and cry over it or we can cry on our it guitars it was like and it was drums. like you can't even go to the fucking grocery store but we can at least get together yeah, and jam because we were already yeah. a covid pod because we had a tour van that you know that almost it's a long story for yeah. maybe another time. we'll write a book so <laughs> anyway so f this year i will definitely support anything you guys do tell thank you keep thank me you. informed yeah. about tours where you're playing and send me send me all your music so i i think um, you guys are like you know what do you what do you say um the the sprouting of the seed of a new rock and roll <laughs> movement or something like that so right. anyways thank you so much for the the interview today 
Yeah, thank, course, thank, thank you. you. Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, it's so, been lovely. I'm yeah, glad. So when you here. when you guys get super big, and then you <laughs> come to Japan and you play the main stage at Fuji Rock, don't yeah. forget about me. Oh, 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 I say that to so many people. Um, <laughs> You guys know, of course, you know Jack White. Uh, yeah, well, well not personally, right. yeah. but yeah. yeah. So he, before they were famous, they were they were like nobodies. Him and Meg White, um, came to Japan, and it was kind of like interviewing oh. you, you guys. They came to Japan, and they were guests on my show, and they played at a place in Ikebukuro, a town, kind of north of uh, Tokyo. And I went to their show. There weren't, there weren't sixty people there. <laughs> and I, I told Jack, like, okay, well, when you guys get big, and you, you sure play Fuji it. Rock, don't forget about me. And he said, No, Mike, we won't. Oh, but they do. <laughs> <laughs> Not us. We no, will no, never forget you. It, 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 it's okay. It's That's okay. our last word. We'll never forget you. <laughs> it, it's okay because I, I know when you get really famous and stuff then people handle things for you and you're too busy doing whatever it is you're doing. And the people who are handling th things don't know about the history and stuff like that. But right. anyways, I'm supporting you guys thank all the you. way. Okay. Thank you. We'll keep okay. in touch. Okay. Thanks so much. Please. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.